Well, the Anderson County Sheriff's Office says an eight year old is recovering tonight after accidentally shooting themselves in Belton. Our Scarlett Lizjack has the latest. The Anderson County Sheriff's Office is investigating an accidental shooting in Belton. It happened Saturday morning. Deputies say they were called to a home on Glenwood Street extension. Once on scene, they found an eight-year-old with an accidental self-inflicted gunshot wound. We're told the injury is not life-threatening. There's no word on how the shooting happened, but nonprofit on call for kids tells us most accidental shootings involving children happen when guns are left unlocked. Most parents that actually have guns or like gun owners tend to just leave their guns hanging around. Could be on a bookshelf, could be by the bed. And a lot of parents say they do this for safety reasons. Like if somebody was to rob their home, they would have easier access to get to their weapon. On Call for Kids says that can be dangerous for young children who can mistake guns as toys. And if they see a gun lying around, they're going to be able to just pick it up and think it's a toy. And unfortunately, the bullet still might be in there. When a child gets a hold of it, they don't know what could happen until the bullet goes off. It could either wound them critically or unfortunately, they could lose their life or they can shoot another child. On Call for Kids recommends parents keep their firearms secure. The lockbox where they can, it's like a little mini safe that they have the code for. It doesn't prevent them. It could be a thumbprint safe box. They sell those nowadays to make sure that people can Make sure that these accidental shootings don't happen because we're trying to make sure that every child can play safe in their home. The Anderson County Sheriff's Office says that this is an active investigation. We'll keep you updated as we continue to learn more. Reporting in Anderson County, Scarlett Lisjack, 7 News. Now, so far this year, there have been at least 159 unintentional shootings by children, killing 54 and injuring more than 100 across the U.S. Those numbers are according to nonprofit Every Town for Gun Safety. Also breaking out of Anderson County, 